In this lesson, we will create another mouse over animation. Okay, so in our previous chapter, we created a mouse over animation. And even in this project, the functionalities will remain the same. However, the trick to the project would be different. Okay, so this is the project that is open on my screen. When I place my cursor on these icons, the gray icons turns into a bright orange. As you can see, when I place it on other icons, it all turns into bright orange. So Google+, Plus, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. You can also see that as I place it on top of these icons, we also get a hyperlink indicating that if I click, it will direct us to the website. So when I click on this, it will take me to the, to the website. However, I'm not connected to the internet. So if you are connected, it will surely take you to the website. Okay, so now let's get started with the project. Before we get into coding of these functionalities, Let's examine the assets in this project. So go to your exercise folder and open the file called Icon Play Start. All right, so let's examine the assets. Go to the Home tab and go to Find and Select and Selection Panel and get the icons onto the left so that we can see it clearly. Now let's examine what's happening here. So we have four icons, as you can see, Google+, Facebook, Twitter, and YouTube. And here we have four levels, that is Google Plus level 21 and level 22 is sitting on top of Facebook, level 23 is sitting on top of uh, Twitter icon and then level 24 is sitting on top of YouTube icon. And all these icons are stack of two icons. As you can see, we have a Google Plus bright, here it is, let me show you. Google Plus icon bright, that is uh, and then we have Google plus gray icon. So let me just hide the gray and you should be able to see that gray and the, the bright the bright Google plus icon is behind our gray right now. So when I uh, check it, make it visible, our bright icon becomes invisible because it is behind Google plus. Similarly, all these three icons, they're all stacked upon each other. The bright icon is behind the gray icon. Also, the brighter icons, the bright icons are a little bit bigger than the gray icons because that will help us achieve even better animation. And that will be clear when we start to code and see our animation in action. Okay, so let's get started with our code. Okay, so before we get into clicking on this level 21, as you can see, level 21 is sitting on top of Google+, Plus. so we'll begin our code with the Google Plus icon first. So make sure we are on the design mode because if you're not on the design mode, you will not be able to click on this. So click on this and make sure you are on design mode and double click on this icon and it will take us to the VBA editor. Okay, so it gives us a, a default click functionality, but we don't want a click functionality. We want a mouse hover functionality. To do that, let's go to this tab and select mouse move, mouse move or mouse hover, same thing. Okay, so this is where we need to write our code. Uh, at this moment, we do not, it's not necessary for us to understand what's happening with this code. If you really want to get into it, so you are most welcome to go to internet and find out the functionality here. Otherwise, we can just know that any code that we write and when we place our cursor on our level 21 in our, in our project, it'll run the codes that we write here. So let's start to write our code. So let's go to Excel and let's see what we want to achieve. So as you can see, we have two icons, Google Plus Gray and Google Plus Bright. So let's go to our selection panel here. So you can see where is Google Plus. So Google Plus Gray and Google Plus Bright icon. The bright icon is behind our gray icon. So what we want to achieve is when we place the icon here on, on level 21, we want to have Google Plus Gray become invisible and then Google Plus Orange, the bright color, become visible. So to do that, just double click on this icon and it will take us to the editor. Let's write our code. So what we want to do is we want to make Google Plus icon gray to become invisible and then make Google Plus Bright become visible. So let's type sheet1, I'm sorry, sheet1.shapes and open the bracket and let's give the name. Let's go to the selection panel and copy our Google Plus gray icon. So copy this and come to the editor and paste it here. 
And now let's get the visible property. So let's type VI and it will give us the auto completion. And equal to, when you type equal to, it will give us the option. So what we want to do is we want to make it false because we want, when we place the cursor on top of level 21, that is on the Google Plus icon, we want to make the gray icon become invisible and make the bright icon become visible. So let's copy and paste it here. So this would be bright. Let's make the change to the name. As you can see in the selection panel, the other icon name is called Google Plus icon bright. So let's come to the editor and make this true. We want the bright icon become visible as we place the cursor on level 21. So let's see it in action. Go to Excel and place the cursor here. I'm sorry to do that. Let's get out of this design mode. So click on the design mode in the developer tab and place the cursor right on top. As you can see, now our Google icon plus bright icon has become visible and the gray is invisible. So when we place the cursor here, we, we get the, the bright icon visible, but we, when we place the icon outside of this level, we wanted to make it back to gray. So to achieve that, we need to place another code in our level 25. As you can see, there is something called level 25. So go to the developer tab, go to design mode and click on level 25. So this is a level 25 here. So when we touch this level 25, this level, we would make the changes from, from the bright to gray. So to write our code, double click on this level 25 and it will take us here. And Excel will give us a default click function, but we want a mouse move function. So click on that mouse move. And now let's make the changes. So just copy this guy and paste it down here. And let's make the changes. We want the Google the gray icon back to visibility. So MSO true. And now let's make our bright icon become invisible. So this would be false. So let's go to Excel and see it in action. Now, first of all, come out of this design mode, go to the developer tab and click on design mode. And now when I place my mouse cursor, as you can see, our gray icon turns bright. And when we place it outside of this, it becomes gray, back to gray. So when I place it here, it becomes bright. And I place it outside, it becomes gray. Similarly, we need to put the same function, apply the same function for all the icons. So let's go to Visual Basic Editor. And all we have to do is we simply need to copy and paste it in our next level. So to do that, let's go to our Excel and come to Design Mode. Come here to Design Mode and double click on this now Facebook icon. As you can see, level 22 is sitting on top of Facebook. So double click. And now all we have to do is copy this guy and paste it. I'm sorry. Here is the 22, uh, the click function. We need to get the mouse move function for the Facebook icon, level 22. So click mouse move. And now let's paste it here and just change the name of our shape from Google Plus to Facebook. Okay, and copy this guy, Facebook, and down here, here it is. So in this, when we place our cursor on level 22 on Facebook icon, the Facebook gray icon becomes invisible and the bright icon becomes visible. So let's go to Excel and see it in action by going to coming out of design mode. We can see we have these functions added to the icons. Now I will pause the video and I'll, we will add the same function to these two icons, the Twitter and uh, YouTube icon. Okay, I'm back. I have added now all the codes to all the levels. So earlier we had added Google Plus icon and then Facebook and now I have added on Twitter and as well as YouTube and down here on level 25 as well, uh, I have added those codes here. So now let's go to Excel and see it in action. So when I place the cursor on the levels, it will give the same functionality on all the icons just how we created for Google Plus. So when I click on this and I come out of this and I YouTube and I come out of this and touch level 25, it will have the same functionality. Now let's add a hyperlink to this icon, clicking which it will take us to Google Plus icon, I'm sorry, website. So right click on this, but as you can see, we are not able to right click on this. So go to developer tab and click on the design mode and now right click. We are still not able to select the, the icon because we are now clicking on the level that is level 21. 
So to achieve that, we need to add another piece of code in our uh, macro. So let's go to Visual by Basic. And now here, as you can see, let me come here. We'll start with Google Plus Broad Icon. So I have already added this piece of code. So what we want to do is we want to bring the Google Plus icon bright to the front. As we run this macro, when we place our cursor on level 21, first of all, bright icon becomes visible and then gray icon becomes invisible. And then what we want is bright icon to come to the top of the order in the layer system. So level 21 will be behind our icon, bright icon. So now we will be able to click on the bright icon and apply a hyperlink. So let's go to Excel here. Now come out of the design mode and place your cursor here. Now you can see we are now able to click on Google Plus icon. So when I click on this, pay attention to the selection panel. As you can see, this time the Google Plus icon bright is highlighted. It's not the level 21. So right click on this and say hyperlink. Now we can put a uh, the address of the website here, so www.google.com and say OK. Now our hyperlink is ready. As you can see, when I place the mouse cursor, this uh, finger, the hand gesture, the hand icon comes on and indicating that we are able to click. So click on this. I'm not connected to the internet, but when you click, it will take you to google.com. Now let's come to Facebook. Same way we can add all these functions. So I'll pause the video and I'll add the hyperlinks to all these icons. Okay, I'm back now. I've added all the hyperlinks to these icons. So when I place the cursor on these icons, it becomes bright and then the hyperlink becomes active. As you can see on Facebook, it is facebook.com. On Twitter, it is twitter.com. On YouTube, it is youtube.com. Also, you can see that, as I told you earlier, that the bright icons are a little bigger than the gray icons. So when I place the cursor here, you can see a little shuttle effect, the bright icon becoming a little big. So it gives you that kind of a feel of an animation. Okay, so this is how we can achieve different kind of animations using the mouse over function and try out different ideas and see what you can come up with.